Good morning students. Today we will start a new lesson that is a coal and petroleum. See in the last lesson we have discussed about the metals and non-metals their physical and chemical properties. Okay. So today we will see this new lesson. So before to start this lesson some basic things that already you are know that okay but even though we have to discuss it okay so for that see you just observe your surrounding so many things are present okay that maybe so many things and these all the things we are using in our daily life okay so that all the things are known as a resources see here your definition it is given resources anything which is used by humans for his survival is called as a resources we see air water light okay these all the things we are using for our survival so that is known as a resources okay so this resources means these all the things is divided into two categories okay which are these two categories the first one is natural resources and second one is human made resources see in this first one natural resources now do you understand the meaning of the resources resources means anything see here anything which is used by humans for his survival is known as a resources means those things are present nearby us and we are using for our purpose that all the things are known as a resources and these all the things for example light water air okay then what uh, your washing machine television tv fridge so many things every day we are using so these all the resources are divided into two categories okay the first one is natural resources and second one is man made resources so now we will discuss the first one that is natural resources see in this natural resources the see natural natural means what naturally it is present naturally it is occur means for example water okay air then light these all are the natural resources okay Na naturally it is present and we are using that so those are present naturally that all the resources that all the things are known as a natural things okay and the second one is man made resources man made resources means what artificially see before we i given you some example that is fridge tv okay these are the artificial resources or you can say it is man made resources because it is made by humans okay so what is the name of our lesson that is coal and petroleum see these both are the natural resources okay so today we are going to discuss in detail about the natural resources okay so we have to focus on this point that is natural resources so these the natural resources are there having a two types okay natural resources that are having a two types that we will see now okay now we will uh, go towards the next point that is the natural resources see natural resources means those are present naturally okay so now these resources they are having a two types that is exhaustible natural resources and inexhaustible natural resources see here the word it is given the exhaustible now exhaustible means what suppose a one day okay whole day you are doing study other otherwise if you are playing a lot okay after some times what you feel it will means we feel it is now my energy is getting exhausted okay means my energy will be finished now okay so for that time how we feel so exhausted means what it will be going to finish okay so the first type of natural resources that is the exhaustible natural resources 
See what we discuss further. That is, there are the so many things present nearby us that are divided into two categories. Means all the things are divided into two categories. That is, natural resources and man-made resources. Okay. So now here the natural resources again there are having a two types. That is, first one is exhaustible natural resources. And second one is inexhaustible natural resources. Okay. So now we will discuss in detail about the exhaustible natural resources. See here the meaning exhaustible. So exhaustible means what? These natural resources are there in the limited quantity. Okay. And it will be going to finish. Why? Because of the use of human activities. Okay. So these exhaustible natural resources for example coal and petroleum okay so these are in a limited quantity and it will be going to exhaust by the human activities okay so these type of natural things are known as a exhaustible natural resources do you understand the first point that is exhaustible natural resources Exhaust, exhaustible natural resources means those resources are present in a limited quantity okay and it will be going to finish it will be going to exhaust by every day we are using a so many amount of petroleum means fuels and all okay so that resources that things are known as a exhaustible natural resources okay and the second point see it is inexhaustible natural resources. Now in inexhaustible natural resources it is totally opposite of this. Okay. So these are present in unlimited quantity. Unlimited quantity and it will not going to be finished. Or it will not be exhausted. For example sunlight. Okay. For example air. Water. So these are in a limited quantity. Now air, see air is present in our surrounding sunlight. Whatever you will use, it will be going to exhaust. It will be going to finish. No, because it is present in a limited quantity. Okay. So inexhaustible natural resources means what? Those things, those resources are present here in unlimited quantity or it will not going to be exhaust okay so maybe today you have understood this both the types that is exhaustible natural resources and inexhaustible natural resources so today your homework is write some examples of exhaustible and inexhaustible natural resources so now here we will stop tomorrow we will continue with our next point